What is up, JL Life? Mo Dale here. Real quick video today for about my pod lights for my cow mounts. So previously, I had rock hard spacer, aluminum spacer. Uh, it was pretty simple. You would remove the top bolt. This would take its place, and it would bolt right in from there. Um, I really like the simplistic look of it, but of course, as you'll see here, uh, it didn't quite work out. I found out why the passenger side cow mount stopped vibrating because it used to vibrate. It hasn't vibrated anymore, and I decided to take a little bit closer of a look when I got home. I figured it out. I don't recommend the rock hard cow mounts for your light pods. Let me show you why. So, took it off underneath. Look at that. Snapped off. This guy, this bolt. I thought about tack welding it. There's not a lot of space. And I don't know. It just doesn't feel like it's going to be work to squeeze to do that. Again, just all that weight on the spacer. I mean, if you want to get yourself a cow mount for your pods, get something that has multiple mounting spots. Example, here's Misty's. Uh, it's a rough country mount, but at least it has two mounting spots. It doesn't shake. Mine does. That's a problem. So I'm going to just JB weld it <laughs> back in. I cannot recommend this product to any of you guys if this is the rock hard, uh, rock hard mount. Not impressed. You guys seen that video of the dude who <laughs> JB welds his rear axle for a perma locker? So I figure if it can work for a diff, it could work for this. So there we are, JB welded all the way around on top, all the way around on bottom. It don't need to be pretty, it just needs to work. Now I gotta find myself a new light mount so so i decided i needed something that has some more grip uh, some more mounting locations on the jeep uh just to help move keep it in place i was looking around there was baja designs which are a hundred bucks just a piece of metal which would blew my mind that was just way too much for what you're buying uh, i mean you can get yourself a 67 design mount you can get yourself a steering stabilizer you can hell you can buy yourself a shock for a hundred bucks and you're trying to tell me that a just a little bracket metal piece is worth a hundred dollars i there was no way i was going to spend a hundred dollars just to mount my bracket uh, there are some other youtube channels out there who have actually showed uh diy um, light mount bracket for the cow mounts uh he, i believe he said it only cost him like six bucks to do uh, that's not quite the way we're going to go today, um, but what I bought were these. They're going to mount into the same hole, the same bolt, and this little C-clamp is going to bolt onto where the uh, windshield goes. The spacer and the bolt for it. I really want my, my lights back, uh, more so I like the way they look. And if you go rock crawling at night, lights are important. I don't know who ever made up this whole lockers before light bars. Light bars are cool. Uh, let me show you what's going on. Upon closer inspection, I've noticed that my antenna is pushing up into it and it's starting to scratch it. I will show you that here in a second. course once you remove the four bolts this will pull out set aside you guys can see it's so bright out here see all the scratches the antennas causing right here and yeah you can kind of see it that's going all the way down so 
I'm gonna have to change that. So as I showed, I JB welded it. Uh, it seems to be holding well. Again, this guy's bolting into that one spot. I got a heavy, uh, rigid pod light that I put on there. And as that shakes and bounces around, it's putting all that pressure in here, and which ultimately is why I believed it snapped. I tried emailing Rock Hard about it just to kind of point out the flaw. They didn't get back to me. Uh, I guess they're just too busy. Um, but if you guys are watching this, Rock Hard, I would suggest doing something to fill in the gap here so it doesn't put so much strain on the single mounting point. Again, I really like this design. I just wish there was something to brace it down here. But anyways, not using that. Uh, so I had to take this off just to wire my, my rigid light back in. Um, of course, we already have the plugs. I've already hooked up my pod lights before, and I just hooked them up to my Mopar switches. Um, but we're going to put the cowl back on, and we're going to put this in. After snapping the cowl back in, Space is going to go down. Let's see, it's going to go there. We're going to get our bolt. Another thing I would have, have liked to have seen is that to be a matching hex, or I'm sorry, a matching torque bit, not a separate hex key at all, just so it can stay uniform. Of course, I got to be careful with this side. I don't want to snap my JB welding, um, but we're going to tighten all that back up. We are going to drop in the rest of our bolts me tighten all these up do you but if you are wondering it's a three and a half hex key to fit that you're going to have to go to the hardware store if you don't already have a bolt and a nut that will fit um, because this my son's about to come out and interrupt this watch but it does not come with the mounting hardware for your light to the bracket now just go to the hardware store pick yourself up your bolt and your nut i'm going to tighten that down with a wrench. I told you. What, what, what do you want, son? Okay, just to the switch. You need to eat lunch first. Okay. So I'm going to knock out the other side, then we'll just give the final overview here. The lighting's terrible. No better. So do I like them? I mean, they work. So these are 100% more solid than these guys. These would wobble, and you saw why and of course you saw the video of them wobbling just while i was driving this isn't moving at all the price point of these are 40 dollars american trail products atp i had an issue with the baja design not because it's a bad design not because it's an ugly design but because it's a hundred dollars for a piece of metal to, from here to here and a light bracket i'm not bashing on baja designs that's just that's a really expensive price tag for such a simple part that's my opinion so again to recap ultimately i like i like them enough they're, they're not bad um again i was just really partial to the first look i had with just that single point and i'm just getting pushed into something i wasn't quite wanting to change i was kind of more forced to change that's my issue atp uh, nothing against the product it works great it's solid, it's just not the exact look I want for Bromance, but it's what's going on there right now, and it works, and it's solid. That's more of the issue. I'm all about functionality over appearance. Um, I, it's, I'm not bashing on it. I can't stress that enough. I'm not bashing on it. It's just you don't understand how partial I was to those. Just the look of just like nothing connected to it not pushing it out just, <clears throat> and again not bashing on baja designs baja design makes great stuff i i ain't spending a hundred dollars on a piece of metal that's only like four inches with a little wing on it that's not going to happen i feel like i'm bashing this product i'm not my issue is with the rock hard mounts and only because it broke, it couldn't support the weight of the light pod. These seem like they're going to hold up great. They're not going to, they're not going to catch sticks on trails from trees. If you get close to trees, which occasionally happens, 
Um, and again, I, it was really important I had something that could pivot on a point and not just be fixed to point, not be fixed to go straight. I like to be able to point my pod lights out just slightly uh, to widen my headlights pattern. And so there's a lot of other cool looking mounts, but they fix your pod lights into a set position, which I don't want to want it to. Again, I want it to be able to pivot out and get the outside so I know where I'm turning to. Um, because when you're out rock crawling at night and it's pitch black, you don't want to be turning into something you can't see. What do you guys think? Do you like the lights? Um, the the price point and the functionality is what grabbed me. And building the Jeeps is expensive, you guys all know. But regardless, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment for me. I will get back to you, I promise. And make sure you subscribe for more additional JL Life content. I appreciate you guys continue to watch. Y'all keep it easy. I'm out.